5.1 so 5.1 is saying that let's determine the x intercept of k right uh, we're given the equation of k of x uh, being equals to minus 2 divided by 3x plus 3 right so in order to find the x intercept we let y be equals to 0 right so if we do that we're gonna get 0 is equals to minus 2 divided by 3 multiplied by x plus 3 so right now we're going to take 3 to the left hand side so we're going to get minus 3 being equals to minus 2 divided by 3 x so we're going to have x being equals to minus 3 divided by minus 2 divided by 3 so if you put that in your calculator you should get x is equals to 9 divided by 2 or x is equals to 4.5 right it is the same thing so the coordinates for our x intercept we have 9 divided by 2 and 0 for the y coordinate right and then 5.2 5.2 is saying let's determine the domain of k inverse so here we're given the equation of k of x and its domain right we're given the equation of k of x and its domain so what is the relationship between k of x and k inverse so the domain of k of x is the range of k inverse right and then the range of k of x as you would now expect is equals to the domain of k inverse this works for all functions and their inverses right not just for this particular case so here we're given uh, the domain of uh, k of x but we're looking for the domain of k inverse so let's use the domain of k of x to find the range of k of x because we know that the range of k of x will be the domain of k inverse right so the domain of uh, k of x we have minus four and then it's supposed to be we're supposed to have x between minus four and uh six right so let's go ahead and find the range of k of x so we're gonna say that k of minus four being equals to minus two divided by three multiplied by minus four right plus three and this will be equals to five point six seven and then we have k and then so we substitute 6 we get minus 2 divided by 3 multiply by 6 plus 3 and then if we put that in our calculators we shall get uh, minus 1 we can write the range of k of x in the following way let me write it down and then i'll do a bit of explaining so we have minus 1 and then uh, 5.6 seven right and then here we have a square bracket let me explain why here we have the bra and here we have the cat right uh, here we have the bra because six we're not supposed to charge six right according to our domain and then we're supposed to touch minus four according to our domain so that's why here i put a bra and then here i have a cat so this is uh the range for k of x so the domain of x inverse we would have x an element of real number and then we just put the range like we have talked about right so that is the answer for 5.2 uh, right uh, let's move to 5.3 so 5.3 is saying that let's determine the equation of h inverse so we have h of x being equals to 2 to the minus x right so in order to find the inverse we have to swap x and y and solve for y so let's go ahead and do that if we do that we're going to get x being equals to 2 to the minus y so now we have y as an exponent we introduce log to both sides so that we can uh, bring it down right so we're going to have log of q to the minus y so we have log of x being equals to minus y log of q right so if we divide both sides by minus log of q we're gonna get y is equals to log of x divided by minus log of q this will be equals to minus log of x base 2 
right and just like that we have uh, the equation of um each universe and now uh, moving to 5.4 so 5.4 says that let's give the coordinates of the x intercept of each inverse the coordinate of the x intercept of each inverse so again x intercept we need y to be equals to zero right so if we substitute that in our equation let's not forget that this is the equation of h inverse right so we're gonna have uh, zero being equals to minus log of x base two so we will divide both sides by minus one so that we can get this we can get rid of this minus here right so if we do that we're gonna get zero because zero divided by minus one will still just be zero being equals to log of x base two so now this two will come and carry this zero so we're gonna have two to the power zero being equals to x right and then about the power zero is one so x is equals to one and then that coordinate we have one and zero right and then 5.5 5.5 is saying that for which values of x is k inverse um less than zero for k inverse we now know what uh the domain is right and we also know what the range is because of the relationship we established between k of x and k inverse right the domain of k of x is the range of k inverse and then the range of k of x is the domain of k inverse but then how can we possibly find the x values for which k inverse is less than zero can you please let me know in the comments right and then um 5.6 5.6 is saying that um, if k of x, so we have k of x being equals to uh, the derivative of q of x, where q is a function defined for minus 4 to 6, right? Draw a neat sketch of q, clearly show the x values of the turning points and the end points. So let's start with the x values of the turning points. We know that it's defined from minus 4 to 6, right? So, right, those are our ending points. Now we just need the x value of the turning point. How can we possibly find the x value of the turning point? We can say that k of x is equal to 0, right? Because k of x is the gradient of q of x so if we equate k of x to zero then we're gonna find the x value of the turning point because that's where the gradient is equal to zero right so we're gonna say that uh, minus two divided by three x plus three is equal to zero so minus two divided by three x is equal to minus three so x is equal to nine divided by two or four point five right so now we have all we need to sketch your graph so let's just go ahead do that and see what we have right so there goes our y-axis and there goes our x-axis so let's see what we can do here we know that our endpoints we at uh, minus four and positive uh, six right and then we have some point here uh, four point five four point five and then that point is our turning point so now let's look at k of x k of x has a negative slope right so that tells us that our function q of x which is a quadratic function is supposed to be sloping down right so as a consequence we're gonna have uh, something like the following so yeah we're gonna have something like this yeah so we're going to have something like this as a result right yeah my sketch is not too great 